I feel that the JACF is fulfilling a need, um, a need that I had seen for a while as a Japanese American organization. We've definitely been able to take on projects that we've wanted to now with their support, so we feel very lucky. To us, they're important. They provide a, a wonderful service and it allows us to help the seniors in the community. Because without you know, the funding, we can't do the programs, and the programs are what reach the people. John, our founder, he collected a bunch of Japanese American members and formed a group. He really wanted to give his friends, the people he knew, the opportunity to have good health insurance because they couldn't get it for reasons of discrimination or whatever else. Finally, Blue Shield of California agreed to write the plan. In 2014, the Affordable Care Act came in and all the association plans had to close. The Health Insurance Trust still had a large reserve fund and Blue Shield had to return this money to our organization and other foundations returning it to the community in the form of grants. You really want to pay back the community from which it came. And that was primarily in the heyday of the second generation they say our own greatest generation. In particular, their support of seniors um, is very significant since that is a very much ingrained value in the Japanese American community to take care of your seniors. We were able to get new flooring, new tables. A program of singing nostalgic songs for Japanese American seniors who have either Alzheimer's or dementia. We purchased a minivan and we also started a second day of our senior wellness programs. You know, the response we got, the happiness and joy it brought to them the memories actually that it brought back. They came and met um, with us in person after we were funded just to take a walk around, look at the space, get to know us personally. I feel like grant funders like JCF are now opening the door and like allowing us to do things we only dreamed of doing. Thank you to the JCF. <laughs>